must be that legendary forge. Need to look around for tools. Blacksmithing tools, but ornamented. Gotta be the ones Joanna mentioned. Oi, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast. How may I assist you? Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true, and they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir, truly. I, mean, I, just... I need a suit of armor, heavy, able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Oh, bolts, you mean? Mm, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy, tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire, I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. <laughs> you know how it is, General. Good helps are to come by. We should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Enough? They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labor. Truth is, the Nilfgaardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bungs. But in the end, they call him Master. No one'd ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Milf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid, and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can. Stopped feeding here. Moved towards open ground to fly away. Arch Griffin Feather. Must have lost it when taking off. Hopefully its nest is nearby.
an outing to find that she beat. Been the Smiths, lass. Get a tooth. You're back. So, got the acid? Mm hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. Armor's ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better, Fergus or me. Geralt, it's done. Looks very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this? Exactly what it looks like. Joanna crafted a suit of armor for you, General, to prove she's the superior armorer. For God's sake, Joanna! What do you think you're doing? Tamaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies. In live combat. Oh, quite a crowd. You there, put on this armor. Uh, I'm just here to shoe me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Geralt, will you help? Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. Bloody hell. I just came here to shoe me yours. Oh. Does this look to you like armor that stops bolts? Compensate the man. Now, let us see what this other suit is worth. This armor's rubbish. Stan, I wish to see the armor. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume all Nilfgaardian army requisitions. Is that clear? I as D. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. I'll be going to my things. Just get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. You weren't certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. Master craftsmanship something I trust in. Something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriffin Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that. Long poles full. My fault we ended six feet under the bridges. Why do you have to play the hero? Yeah. 
Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed this in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, and thanks for what you did. Take it, and may it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear sisters Kira and Sheila will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalarch for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. Ah. 
Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. The Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. Doogie, Mr. Fancy Pack! All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Wait here. Forgot something. Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. So long, Triss. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. That settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Dallas, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Galban was a sage of the Elder Elves. 
He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. For Sunsdale. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. See? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. But now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. I'll not kneel before an Ancrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding more harm than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! You'll never learn.
That's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. What's the difference between a milk guardian? Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! An agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon. And even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the NCA elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect us. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. They had more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. 
What's this whale about? It's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves. Under Ermion's tutelage. Ermion? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you conniver. Cut me the bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Aye, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. It's been true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermion. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. 
You have something of a persecution complex. Will you? Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalar's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalar mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. 